Good evening. And what is up, my fellow subscribers? And if you haven't subscribed, well, shame on you, you son of a bitch. Go ahead and hit it, because there's so much good trading content. And guess what? It is time for Flow State. The second episode, I told you guys I could do a lot more of these videos. And guess what? Here's the second one. So if you don't know what this is, I already did one. Go ahead and watch it. It's somewhere up here. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it because, ah, uh, fuck, I should probably explain it. I probably should explain it. This is only episode two, Fat Cat. Come on, fucking tell these people what it is. Basically, what this is, is it's a pretty quick trade breakdown video of a trade I took. And this trade is actually from today, December 9th, 2021. You get to see the hard right edge and nothing makes me more hard than the hard right edge, baby. And I'm feeling frisky tonight. I'm just letting you know. So, But anyways, let's jump into it. So contextually, let's talk about this thing. I'm trying to get long on the open. I don't like taking trades right off the open. Because uh, usually I'll get fucked up because it's so volatile. But luckily the market's getting a little more tame. Um, and I want to get a pullback long right in this purple box. Whether it's this blue line, this purple line, or the edge of a somewhere's in there. I just need to see the tape stall and I need to see some buying coming in. This is going to be relatively quick because it is the open. So let's take a look at it. So what happens is the bell uh, is going to ring here. What you're going to see me do is manually reset the profile on Jigsaw. I just like to do that. That's sort of a little thing I do every morning is reset the profile manually. Sure, it can be automated, but anyways, so what's going on here is a lot of buying immediately comes in. We did get a pullback right where I was wanting to. It's coming up here. Still good buying on the tape. There's some liquidity there, kind of stopping the market, a slightly larger order. So I'm going to go ahead and take one off because I don't want this thing to just fall in and shit all over my face. And then that's exactly what's starting to happen. And it's not falling in on much size. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hitting there. What I just did was uh, I took a two tick loss on three lots. Luckily, I was only down 1250 on that trade. Um, and you're about to see me get long as it's pulling back further into and it's bottom ticked right here getting long on this high node because of how it jumped and the buying that came in and that's luck right there folks when it just shoots up like that when you get into a trade that's just luck so what's happening is it's coming up in the same region and what i'm starting to notice is this might turn into a neutral day so let's go ahead and get paid here even though the volume is pretty high i want to i just want to get paid here because it kind of smells and tastes and stinks like neutral, which it does go neutral. And what's happening is the market's falling in. I'm glad I got paid on it. Um, so, you know, what's good about getting paid on that first scalp is my break even. It will sl be down slightly further. Uh, or like that first trade, even though I took two, uh, a two tick loss on three lots, that, that profit I took on the first loss first loft first lot paid for a lot of that so i only lost 1250 plus commissions obviously um as you can see the market's stalling here at 85 a lot of buying here the next scale out let's take a little peeksers is uh well it looks like i took that next scale out point uh the next scale out point is going to be at 8.33, so in about a minute, let's continue to monitor this. It kind of has this neutral feel to it, the way it's kind of testing both sides and collapsing into the center. Uh, I was hoping it would hit my entry and run, but you know what? There's an old saying, wish in one hand and shit in the other. Tell me which one fills up quicker. Uh, don't actually do that because you're going to have to wash your hands because it's the shit. The shit's going to fill your hand a lot quicker than the wishing. Don't ask me how I know. But anyways, you can see the tape is okay. It's just really uh, quite a bit of volume came in right here, but it's mostly blue on the uh, mid-sized tape. I absolutely adore that. This is the best thing that could ever happen. We're pushing up a little higher. So what I'm going to start doing is getting out at VWAP. You can see I'm kind of figuring out what price that is and that's at 88.75 so i'm trying to get out at 88.25 because i don't never really always get out at the exact target i want to kind of get out a little bit sooner 
you can see on the heat map there is some size sitting up there so it, it just might go in there and kind of start to crap all over itself but uh, I go ahead and put the target up there now what I'm not doing is staring at that target what I'm doing is I just fucking spit across the, the, the room here it just came right out of my mouth so I go ahead and take one off right there because the way it's just stalling and stuff so let's lock in two so this trade is definitely worth it at this point my trade management really ebbs and flows and you're getting a great taste of that here you go with more buying right here more buying they're just shoving it up i love it the next target is 91.75 you can see i'm measuring it with the crosshair over here trying to get out two ticks below that uh it is uh let's see if it makes it so now you got somebody dropping blocks in here but that's not a big deal blocks aren't necessarily a big deal either this guy is trading getting in and out of trades or he's trading with another large trader it could be one trader who's cutting his trades sometimes they do that folks because uh just because they swing big lots doesn't mean they always know what they're doing like these large traders do get ran over so it's really getting hesitant here 90 is going to be a problem that's a psychological level but overall the tape is really solid And this next scale out, the final scale out, is going to be at 835, so in about a minute here. Really good block buying coming back in, followed uh, with a bunch of midsize in front of it. You see I can cut it. Um, I just want to, and the reason I cut it is, uh, like I said in the last video, I want to see if it's going to pop past my ultimate target. But you know what, it starts hesitating there. I decided to just go ahead and cut it right there and then, and I believe I am flat at this point. Uh... I am flat at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm going to do more of these videos. Are you liking them? Let me know. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You're going to get this stuff. You're going to get more of this uh, stuff. So subscribe. It helps me out. Come on, baby. Love you. Bye.